Hey guys, it's Adam AK Swimming Bird and welcome back to Zookeeper, our journey to make the very best zoo in all of Minecraft here. Last time we had a very scary adventure, but I got this dragon egg to show for it, and we're gonna hatch our very first baby dragon on this video. And I'm gonna talk about Dragon Mounts, the mod that lets you have a pet dragon you can fly around on, and show you guys how to hatch your own and talk about all the breeds and stuff like that. So we've got our dragon egg. You can get this from killing the Ender Dragon or you can find them in random loot chests if you have it enabled in the config file. So once you place it down, you're going to right click and this starts the hatching process. Now depending on where you place this egg, you can get one of eight types of dragon breeds. So let's go into those. The ender dragon is the default one. It doesn't have any very special characteristics or anything, but it's cool looking. It looks like the vanilla ender dragon and that's just any normal block for the most part. If you want to get the fire dragon, you need to place the egg down near fire or lava. And this guy is fireproof, and he's pretty cool looking on top of that, so that's awesome. We've also got the water or sylphid dragon. Just place the egg down near water to get this one. The ice dragon is one of the newer types of dragons. You can place the egg near snow or ice to get this guy, and he'll actually leave snow behind him when he walks, kind of like a snow golem, which is pretty cool. And he has a really cool texture there. The nether dragon is another one that's a fairly recent type of dragon. It is hatched by pl placing the egg down on netherrack, and he kind of looks like crazy demonic and stuff. He's pretty cool looking. Now, the other two types of dragons here, besides the one that I'm making right now, are the aether and undead or ghost dragon, and these ones aren't determined by blocks that you place them on, it's determined by block height. So if you go high up on a mountain or up in the air and you hatch the egg, you'll get the aether dragon. This guy's pretty sweet looking. He's got that cool pattern on him. Now if you go underground, below, you know, sea level, you can get the undead or ghost dragon. And this guy actually is hurt by healing potions and healed by damaging potions, just like the zombies, skeletons, wither, stuff like that. So those guys are determined by block level. And the last type here, the one that I'm making, is the forest dragon. And you have to place him around wood or leaves to hatch it. I made this little nest here with my egg hatching. You don't have to go this, you know, all out. But I wanted him to have a nice, nice little safe area to be uh, hatched in. Sometimes the, the egg scoots around, so you kind of want to keep it enclosed in a little area so it doesn't go away. Because it does have a HP. You can see it has 12 HP up in the corner there. And uh, depending on the particles that come out, you can see green particles coming out. That's how you know which type of dragon it is if you're not using damage indicators like I am with the little thing in the corner. So this is going to take a bit to hatch. But when it does, we'll have a juvenile dragon. And you can tame it with raw fish. You can use raw salmon, clownfish, stuff like that. And if you want to heal it later, you can use other types of raw meat. But the fish is what you use to tame it. And it will you know, imprint on you as long as you're in the area. When the egg hatches, you can you can wander off while it's starting to hatch because it does take a little bit, but there will be a message in the chat that says, warning, there's an egg hatching, get over there, you know, because the dragon has to be kind of bound to whoever is hatching it. So you can get your little baby dragon that way. And once it's, once it's hatched, you can tame it with the fish. If you want it to get up or sit down, you can grab a bone and the bone will actually make it sit and, you know, stay like a cat or a wolf would in vanilla. So you have to use the bone on them to do that. Once they have grown through juvenile all the way to adulthood, you can put the saddle on them and you can actually fly around, use R and F to go up and down respectively by default. And uh, if you get a carrot on a stick, it's actually really useful because you can just, you know, aim with the mouse and fly around. You don't have to use those keys. So the carrot on the stick, not as useful for the pig anymore since we have horses, but it is very useful for the dragon mounts. So this guy's going to take a while to hatch. I think I'm going to do a quick time lapse and we'll see this baby forest dragon when he pops out. And I'll tell you the name that you guys suggested for him. Here he is guys, our brand new baby forest dragon. Yay, he hatched. Here, have some fish little guy. So I don't think you can feed them until they're a bit bigger and get them to uh, to follow you. So you have to kind of keep these guys safe. This little guy is so cute. Now I looked at all of your comments guys, your name suggestions, and this is the one I chose. It was suggested by Deduck the King, Adam Macy, and the Assassin Plays Minecraft. It's Douglas, and I like this name because it sounds like, whoa, 
cooldown little guy. It sounds like Douglas fir, which is a really cool type of tree. And uh, I also, I tried to look it up to see if it was a reference, and there was a bomber that was called the Douglas Dragon, so maybe that's what they were referencing. But nevertheless, we have our own little dragon, and I have two eggs left, and I need to know, what, what other types of dragons should I get, guys? I want to put all of them in the museum eventually, or the zoo, eventually. They're not going to be dead. They're going to be alive. The museum is for dead things. Uh, <laughs> so I want to have them all in there eventually, but I do want to pick a few to use, you know, as I fly around and explore, like little Douglas here. So of the other types of dragons, what are the ones I should use these last two eggs on? I want to know. And also more name suggestions, if you have some. I really appreciated all those suggestions, and I chose the one that I thought felt fit the best with this little forest dragon. Ben is off. I think he's trying to hatch his own dragon. We were talking about because we were on Mountain Zoo to maybe name them after Mountain Dew flavors, like Code Red for the Fire Dragon or Baja Blast for the Aether one. So we'll see about that. But I want to see what you guys think, and uh, we can hatch these other eggs. I got to protect little Douglas. This fence I put up really quickly because I was worried about monsters attacking me, but this should keep him in here safe in his little nest until he grows up and I can fly around on him, which we will show off next time. So as the sun comes down, I did also want to mention, I really appreciated the feedback on the shaders. Most of you guys said yes to the shaders, but under one condition, I needed to make it brighter when it was nighttime. So I went in and I found a way to edit the shader files to make it a lot brighter in caves and at night. And I'll put a link in the description if you're having the same problem that I did so you can fix your own shaders. But as the sun goes down, it will still stay bright enough for us to see what's going on, which is very nice. Anyways, I want to thank you guys for watching. I'm going to go get more dragons soon, but I'm happy with my first little forest dragon here, Douglas. He's so cute. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Please leave a like if you enjoyed this. And as always, zoo the zoo, my friends. Zoo the zoo. I'll see you next time for more Zookeeper. Goodbye.